we got a spike compressor, but we had a really interesting uh, situation here. So what happens when you put your cotter pin in, or your uh, firing pin in behind the cotter pin, it gave it a chance to fall out. It sort of tweaked there and basically set it up so that the uh, follower, uh, the bolt carrier was stuck. So it took a little work. Luckily we have uh, Jim Jager here who's seen a few ARs in his day, so he was able to get them apart. And then we figured out that just a minor assembly issue, but a uh, good idea to practice uh, <laughs> assembling the ARs right. Otherwise, interesting gun. Had a chance here at a tactical response uh, high risk civilian contractor class to take a look at a Spikes Tactical Compressor. Compressor, if I'm saying it right. This one's an SBR, obviously. With their uh, upper and handguard set up there. Looks like he's running an aim point on it. T1. Interesting carrier with some speed holes or some dimples and things. PCM charging handle. Pretty aggressive stippling. Pretty cool looking stippling too. So pretty nice collection of parts there. Unfortunately uh, there was just a problem with the firing pin which will kind of splice in. It was a little noisy when we were filming that. But uh, Overall, nice looking rifle. So, slap it together real quick. Went back to brother pretty well. Makes for a nice little short rifle. Airspace to dissipate heat, I suppose. AFG stippled. Nice looking lower. Looks like it's got some ambi controls on it, some anti roll pins. Ah, it looks like the switch can go over, but it's a nice looking rifle. So that's a Spikes Tactical Compressor. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.